keep up. Ha. Hello. Ha Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. about that cave. Uh, let's think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Come a little closer.
Don't be such a brute. You're in for a little. Let's dance. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Come a little closer. <gasps> My. for a little shock.
You needn't worry about such things. They don't concern you. Bow before the abyss! Decimate! Boba, get them! You're in for a little shock. Hey, hey, come a little closer. You're a don't be such a brute. Come a little closer. Out of the frying pan, into the fire! <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Try not to enjoy this too much. Boba, get them! You're in for a little sh- Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Uh, are you okay? Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. Whoa, wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around. Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh. Huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hypatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I, I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around. Oh, real? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my... Uh... Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Oh? So you're able to see them too? Wait, hold on a sec. 
second traveler. You say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a str- No, I actually do believe what the traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. So, Hypatia, just what kind of creature? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the dead. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Erm. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, and at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tynar- <laughs> Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier- Alright, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will- Mmm, sounds- Are you already finished cooking? Already finished cooking? Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the- You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermansoul as you- So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermansoul? The ingredients used to make spirit born ale primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermansoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the Earth. Naturally, anyone who can establish a connection with Ermansoul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Hmm, makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was she sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to her body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, she could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload, hence the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Born Ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry though, it appears you've already- Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon, but unless you're using intentional meditation techniques- <sighs> Well, that's really- I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering for- Whoa! You're really serious about this whole thing- 
I am a researcher after all. As a member of the Ritawis Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection, which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to... I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this state. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparation... That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm, while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Whoa! So knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Don't you ever feel afraid of the risk, Capasia? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight, and dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing for <laughs> But what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom her- What's so strange about that? It does- Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Ah, huh. is that true? Yes, well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, the fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the- I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell- I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream. It was incredible. Though I don't it back then. I was... <clears throat> a so, do you have any thoughts about the things she saw when she connected with Ermansoul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermansoul itself. Hmm. World forget me. Uh... If only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin pa- uh, If you two are ever in the area again, there's no need to be thank- Now that we know Hapasia is alright- It's nearly time for afternoon tea.
Why not keep me company for a while? There'll be plenty of time for work later. Ah. <sighs> 